Hello there. I thought I'd do a canvas. I've got this lovely canvas. It's like 12 inch square. And I've been I've been looking at it off and on for ages. And uh, I went to a Guardian site recently out the Sinueth way. And uh, it had two stars and a planet, which where I landed was uh, just gradually, gradually sinking below the horizon. And those two stars initially, when I first landed there, the two stars were uh, kind of one big blob. And then they very gradually moved further apart from each other so so this landscape changed and the shadows changed as I as I was in it and, and it, it made it a really striking environment these these hugely long shadows and that 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 dusky red atmosphere so many guardian sites have kind of got this kind of pale beige color and the dust because it's, it's such an ancient civilization it's got that kind of dusty Aztec quality to it where you've, you're finding these these relics and orbs and caskets and whatnots partially buried in this millennial dirt that's been there since before they fell prey to their own weaponized AI. Kind of sad that they're um, unlucky in the sense that their, their civilizations rose up on planets previously occupied by the Thargoids. They didn't have any choice about that really, that's where they started out, that's where they spawned if you like. And uh, and that caused friction. The the stage was set, and the return of the Thargoids led to the the war, and the unfortunate Guardians lost control of their own weapons in the end, and and are extinct. We believe, leaving only their fearsome, intelligent weaponry behind them, weaponry that did allow them to uh, defeat the Thargoids. I mean, they did. They did win their war against the Thargoids. They kicked the Thargoids out. They got their um, they got their system back, but unfortunately things didn't work out for them, which is it's a shame. We've got these wonderful ancient, tragic relics looking out and on their um, potentially underground cities or whatever we see there. We don't know. Maybe they lived in organic structures which have rotted and dried and blown away in the thousands of years since these ancient ruins and the the their carved obelisks and totems and and relic towers the only things we can we can see now and they're endlessly surveying defense systems that's just beautifully designed i really like the surfaces the texture of the the ground even especially because you majority of the time in a in a in an srv although as you can see here <laughs> i did not take an srv i i took a scorpion cleverly took my scorpion which has half the cargo but it is it is pleasing to use that extra super massive gun on the sentinels you just go womp and then the sentinels just blow up it's surprisingly effective that gun it's uh, <laughs> i can't say that uh, it it does as well over the rocky terrain there's the, there's some weird angles you've got to get up and in that scorpion there's a particular slope that you need to get up when you're using these sites to trigger them to get yourself blueprints um, there's a there's a tower part right at the top of these sites and you kind of go up a staircase and uh, it's not a staircase it's a series of, of raised platforms and I just couldn't get the damn thing up <laughs> so I had to go around the back and trundle slowly up the it does grip a hill well the scorpion though I'll give it that I was also uh, was collecting guardian uh, guardian technology samples because you need a surprising amount of them for the blueprints I was trying to craft. Uh, I did quite a lot. That you have to they they're in the the angled pillars. The one that I've got up close. This the the one that's um, up close and it's got the uh, the shootable panels if you like. It's got panels that come off, but there's three panels on each one of those angled pillars. And in and in one of them normally you might find you might find one of the technology samples. And they're the things you need. <laughs> you need a, that and scan data from the obelisks. You see in the bottom right hand corner of my picture I've got I've got those uh, those little those little dark pillars. They're they're your obelisks and and depending on what you've got in your cargo hold you get different data from them, I think. Well, I can't remember. Ages ago, Ramtar, one of the engineers, he had a he had a an activity where you could get quite a bit of cash if you did it. And I did it, and I had, a, had this big sheet 
where I cross-checked all the different combinations of objects you needed to carry and obelisks you needed to scan and, and it was ridiculous. It was like the sort of game you need to use Excel for, for goodness sake. It's, it is in itself multi-layered in its effort going to the Guardian sites. I love going to Guardian sites but it is because they're so beautiful and then the noise of the environment with the the sound of the hovering sentinel weaponry and and it's and it's missiles they look so beautiful and this site it had it had brain trees as well uh, near it so that was quite cool i always love a brain tree you you can probably tell the issue i had with this picture is not drawing the picture it's getting the color right for the sky because that sky had this ominous glow and it was dark but also the, the stars were dark because they looked like little brown dwarfs. So they're kind of glowing pink and one of them was really vibrant cerise pink and the other one had a brighter, a brighter glow and I think that's the one the shadows were coming off. I did them a few times. I had to sort of make sense of it in my head to try and give them that, that uh, luminosity and I don't think I quite got it. But it was great fun doing it. I should have probably left it just with the washy colour right at the start. It looked luminous then. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I know this was really long, but it did take ages. Right. Thanks. Bye.